Everybody, what's going on? We got Luke here and Connor. This is Dear Downloads, episode two. Uh, this is 10-18-2020. What's going on, everybody? We're talking about PC builds today, PS5 info, and uh, one month till Cyberpunk 2020, or 2077, sorry. Hey, Connor, what's going on? Hey, man. Hey. So uh, it's good to be here. Uh, this is this is really fun for me to sit and talk about uh, just random stuff with you. So <laughs> right, I'm glad, we're, I'm glad we're doing this for sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. Uh, I don't know what, what, what have you been playing lately. Uh, I know last we talked, you were uh, you were watching Raised by Wolves, and you're almost done. Did you ever end up finishing that? No, I still haven't finished it. I need to get back on that. Uh... <laughs> Oh, <laughs> I have like one episode left. And I'm just like putting it off. I was like, well, I lost interest in that. What am I going to do? Oh, oh, damn. <laughs> I'll get back to it eventually. I, I so, think it's uh, like totally done now. So I should just finish it. Like, <laughs> I don't know. I've been, I haven't been watching a ton of TV lately. Uh, been watching all those. Out. Yeah, I've been watching all those YouTube shits. So, you know, what are you going to do? whatever yeah yeah likewise we've been watching uh hacksmith where they like have you ever seen that channel is that the one where the guy made the fucking lightsaber yeah yeah so we're yeah. going through like all their all their stuff it's pretty okay. interesting yeah their plasma lightsaber is super cool i haven't watched the video where they're like showing it off yet but i was like watching the build video the other day that thing's so cool I sent it to my buddy john who's like whoa that's awesome it's so rad. That's so rad. Go them, man. Really. <laughs> Fuck yeah. That's like, it's super cool. <laughs> what uh, you been playing? Uh, what have I been playing? I've been playing uh, Forza Horizon 4, screwing around with that. That's, I don't know. I talked about that last time. I was downloading it when we were having the last show, and I've been playing it this last week. Uh, Breath of the Wild off and on. Um, yeah, what the hell else have I been playing? Those are kind of the two things I've been playing this week. It's been a slow week for games. Nice. You <clears throat> like in uh, Forza Horizon since you're replaying it? Oh, yeah. It's just, I don't know. Like, you're never done with it. It's like uh, just, it's like an MMO for car games. Like, I don't know. It's awesome. <laughs> yeah. I don't think you ever could be. Like, I remember the last one I really played was just like old school Gran Turismo 2. Oh, I played four. Oh. I, I played four okay. on PS3, but yeah, you couldn't like. No, four was on two, but yeah. Cool. See. <laughs> <You know>? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, that one is that one. Played. Yeah. Nice. But yeah, you could play those forever. Yeah, they're like never ending. I haven't played a ton of like. If I'm gonna get a sim, I need to get a racing wheel. Um, I don't know. That's probably in my purchases for the future, but it's also like setting up a sim kind of sucks because it just takes up a bunch of space. Mm, okay. But like, but playing it on a wheel is awesome. Like, it's amazing. Like, I used to have a wheel back in the day, and it's just so much fun to play on that, a wheel. That's hardcore. Yeah. That's like hardcore. <laughs> it's that's totally the way to play it. Like, and apparently, like with the VR, like. The games now, like if you play them in VR, they're super awesome on a sim. So, Ooh, yeah. Do you have I, a VR headset? I don't. I really want to get one so I can play Half Life Alex too, which looks super cool. But uh, I don't know. It's um, I'm kind of waiting to see what Sony does for next gen if they're going to release a new PlayStation VR or if they're just going to keep rolling with the current one. Because I've I've used the PlayStation VR and it. Uh, I don't know. It gives me mad screen door effect. Have you used a VR before? No, never. Uh-uh. I mean, old, old, <clears throat> old school ones like at a mall. But like, oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, I've used the PlayStation VR in the past. It just gives me screen door effect. So it looks like you're just looking through a screen door like in front of your face. So mm -hmm. unless like the pixel density is super high, you can like see the individual pixels, which looks like you're looking through a screen door, if you know what I mean. I gotcha. Does it make you feel like a little odd sensation 
it, it type of thing it, or no? I, um, it doesn't make you feel like an odd sensation. It's more just like distracting. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Like the real early ones made me want to puke super fast. So, I, yeah, they ha they haven't talked about anything for PS5 as far as VR at all. Yeah, I think they're just waiting for stuff to happen. They did. I thought they did say something about the 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 current VR can be yeah. used, but you have to use the old camera. Correct. Correct. And yeah. they, and then you need like a special cable that isn't released yet to put the old camera onto the PS5. Yeah. So. If I'm understanding know. it. Squirrel. <laughs> Squirrel? So what have you, so you been playing, Connor? Oh, shoot. Yeah, I've been... Uh, play, played a little Warzone uh, the other okay. day. Got another couple wins. Uh, right. just, uh, it's just fun to play with. It, it, it feels like high school playing with uh, with Amphi. And, sure. You know, that's why I play play online shooters with your friends. But then yeah. I, I put I put a bunch of hours into Stardew. Um, Did probably, you? Like, maybe not a bunch, but I mean, four hours in a week for me is I feel like quite a bit. <laughs> okay, that's a, that's a fun game, man. I love it. The fishing mechanic is fun, like, and it's super relaxing. You just go at the end of a dock or a little river and just fish. You know? Just fish, yeah. man. I did so much fishing in like Final Fantasy fifteen. Did you ever play that game? Uh, no, I have not. No. Uh, it had really good fishing in that game, even though it's like a total like JRPG crazy story. Like, I don't know. The fishing in it was super fun. I did a ton of fishing. Was 15 their online one? Because I know no, that, 11 that's was 14. Online. Yeah, okay. 11 and 14 are online. 15 is like their most recent single player that they released, I think, in 2015. Got it. Got it. I think that's, that's the cool. only game on PlayStation of Platinum. So. No way. That's awesome. I don't yeah. even know if I have oh, well, I have my PlayStation up, actually. Um, oh, dear, yeah, yeah. I the, oh, dude. Okay. And I also have been playing, we should try this, um, Among Us. Like, I kind of oh, held off. about that. Yeah, dude. I kind of okay. held off. I kind of held off for a bit because, like, it's so popular. I was like, okay, all right. Yeah. And then I played it on Sunday with, like, my kids. Holy cow. It was so fun. It's oh, really? So fun game. Yeah, dude, it's so fun. It's so yeah, it's like social deception where you're like, uh... <laughs> yeah, yeah, dude. I tricked my kids because I'm playing mobile uh, in in the living room, and she was using the computer. Okay. And, and uh, we got her friend in on, uh, you know, from her house or whatever, and we were playing a game, and uh, I was the imposter, and uh, okay, it was like. There was four people left, and the other two people were like, they're like, he's the imposter. That's the imposter. I was like, no way. I was trying to do my task, you know, whatever. Yeah. And then like my, my kid was on my side, so she kept voting with me and we were tying, you know? So like <laughs> they wouldn't vote me off. And then finally, uh, those two people were just following me. So I was like, fuck it. I just killed one. And then uh I reported it and I was like, I saw the other guy kill it. <laughs> so I got my kid kid to vote for it. <laughs> and I won. I was like, yes. That's so good. It was rude, super rude. So I have this board game called Secret Hitler, which was made by the guy who made, uh, what's that game called? Uh, da, 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 da. Game for like terrible people. Uh, crap. I don't know, you tell me. God damn it. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> doesn't matter we'll, we'll move forward and come back to it next episode yeah, we'll, we'll come back to it uh so i have this game called secret hitler that's kind of like that where like you're in germany like in the 1930s is like the background of the story and uh basically one person is hitler and everybody has to like find the like fascists and vote them off otherwise you end up with you know world war ii and shit that's so straight like, up it's, among us <laughs> yeah it's straight up among us like totally the same game i don't know it's super fun and like you basically vote for people who have like fascist powers and like yeah it's funny oh my gosh <clears throat> cool. yeah super fun game but you know with a board game you have to get like a bunch of people together to play it and that's not happening anymore yeah yeah that's uh kind of hard to do <laughs> now hard to do these days oh well so should we get into uh what is going on this week and get to the main topics. You got a couple housekeeping items here in the show notes. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, 
So I was listening to the last one. I was talking about how big the PS5 is. And yeah. I was actually kind of spot on off memory. So it's like 15.4 inches by 10.24 by 4.9 inches wide. Like that's okay. huge, man. Yeah, super big. Did, did you watch that teardown video? No, that's the only other thing I didn't get to this week. I, I, I still need to watch that. Yeah. Oh, well, you got time. I do have time. I do have time today, actually. I got time today and tomorrow to watch it. Nice. Okay, what else we got here? We're following up on Horizon. We followed up on Raised by Wolves. Uh, I didn't do anything on that. You got a couple subtopics here. PlayStation Now, nine bucks a month versus a Game Pass. What you got going on with that? Oh, man, it was funny. So Wednesday that popped up and, uh, you know, like... I didn't know Games Pass, you could just stream games for $10 a month. And then all of a yeah. sudden, like, PlayStation Now just came live. I, I feel like on Wednesday, but maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I just I, noticed it Wednesday. You know, It's been live for a while. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Oh, Digging. okay. Then I'm an idiot. I didn't even know about it. And uh, I thought it was kind of funny. Like me and Amphi were joking. Like uh, PlayStation was like, okay, Xbox, hold my beer. <laughs> you know, yeah. I, could, I could do this. You know? Well, Game Pass, I mean... At least the good deal for it with the uh, PC was like for the longest time up until like last month, it was like four bucks a month or five bucks a month for PC users. Whoa. So it was like just super cheap. But now it's oh, gone okay. like now it's gone live and it's full price, but still it's a good deal. But up until like a month ago, PlayStation or Xbox would allow you to like sub for it. And you could sub up to like three years ahead of time. Oh wow. Okay. At the, at the four ninety nine price, so I like upped my stuff and bought like two years worth of it ahead of time, just so I don't have to pay for full price for two years. Smooth. There you go. That was smart. But I like it. I like how it has a <laughs> even the PlayStation now has like some of their exclusives on it, so that's freaking dope. But I know. Yeah. Xbox does the same too, and I think I. Uh, did you see the PSV uh, version eight update? Did you update I, your I, yet? I haven't updated it this yet. Um, okay. What's that, what, what's that do exactly? Nothing. It's. I think it's really more to like integrate with PS5. Um, there's not much that I can tell different other than the party chat. Uh, okay. PlayStation 4. And it's super confusing now. Like before it was easy. Like if you already had a chat started, you just go over to your friends list and invite someone to it. Now you okay. have to get a like if you do that, it leaves your party and goes to a new party. Okay. Like if, you, if you're already in one with a friend, and I'm like, oh, Lucas is on, let's get him, and I say chat and party, and then it, it leaves that party. So I, it, it's just a little more confusing. You have to sure. like go into your party chat, add the player, and that's it. Well, I imagine a lot of it has to do with like what they've done with like dropping the PSP and the Vista or Vita and Vita. the. Uh, ps3 games from their store so like all the og playstation games that were on the ps3 are i think gone now so like i think it's just like updating the store from like all that old stuff that's gone now oh like part of why the update happened yeah and then they're you know bringing it into you know compliance with what's going on at the ps5 based off of their you know ui announcement the other day did you watch that video yeah, I was gonna say. Speaking of, yeah, I did watch it. What? Uh, I thought it was pretty cool. It's uh It looks a little busy. Uh, I get distracted easy, especially if I'm playing a game and a, a notification pops up. So that one where they were showing like, "Oh, you're invited to a party." Yeah, it was like it was like a big notification on the corner of the screen. So I don't, sure. I don't know if that'll be distracting or not, but we'll see. Well, and I wonder if there's like a silence option too, like where it'll just leave you alone, like. I don't want anybody to invite me to the games. Just let me play by myself. Oh, there probably is. Like they yeah. have like a peer offline. Yeah. Like or just a like silence mode or something. I, I feel yeah, like there's probably an option. Yeah. It seems busy though. I don't know. What do you think? It, I I don't know. It it seemed cool to me. I don't know. What about the chapters? Like you could see what you missed on a game. Yeah, I, I kind of like the like the chapter select thing and like telling you how much is left in like general area. And then I also uh-huh. thought it was pretty cool that like you can do kind of what the strata is doing or what the strata um, was selling, where like it 
automatically links you to like gameplay videos on YouTube based off of like where you contextualized in the game to like give you hints. I thought that was a super cool fi- feature. Like, I don't know. game design is only so good, and occasionally there's times where it's like, well, what the shit am I supposed to do right now? Yeah, so that's true. having that like contextualized thing that'll tell you what to do and give you like a gameplay video showing you what you should do next is pretty cool versus, you know, having to look it up on your phone or your iPad or your computer while yeah, you're playing. Pour, and pour through different videos to find yeah. the right one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So I don't know. It's kind of nice having just those walkthroughs right there. Um, otherwise, I think it's pretty similar to what we already have on the PlayStation 4 in terms of like UI. It's not like a total reimagination. It's more of like a, I don't know, update, if you know what I mean. At least that's what I thought of the UI. But gotcha. Yeah, I, I, I'm digging it. I just feel it's a little busy, but I like how clean it is. And I like how it's uh, it's simple. It's like the whole bar thing, but it's under your game. You know, if you need it to be like you could go through your home. You don't have to go to the PlayStation screen. Yeah, versus off to the left like it is now. It's at the bottom. Yeah, yeah I, I, I kind of like wish they would keep the bottom thing like across the whole UI versus like like the main screen that they showed looks kind of like it's a uh, very similar to PlayStation 4 where it's, uh, you know, in the middle of the screen, and you're going across the bars. I don't know. I thought it'd be cool if they were to like keep the little bar across the bottom and then like you bring it up and you have like, it shows you a little screen, but you know, whatever. Uh, that's true. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's true. And they did, they did them, give themselves a way out. They're like, it'll probably patch, you know, multiple times. So you might oh, see yeah. something different. <laughs> I mean, they've rebuilt it since the PlayStation 4, you know, they've been updating across the whole like generations. So I'm not worried that's about true. it. Yeah, that's true. All righty. Uh, what else we got here? Next items on the list. You ever play Destiny? No, no, I saw your question on that. I haven't. That's one game I haven't uh, also played. I love uh, I love uh, the Halo games, and I know it was created by the same studio. Yeah, it was created by Bungie. Uh, I used to play it a bunch. I'm kind of curious about jumping into it again because they have a big update coming, I think, next month. So I don't know. I'm screwing around with it. OG Destiny I played a ton of, and then I played a bunch of Destiny 2, but I haven't played it in a couple of years. I'm kind of thinking about jumping in. I know my buddy uh, Amphi and uh, Max have played that. Um, oh, really? I, I believe quite a bit. So I don't know. Maybe after the update, they might have some thoughts on that. Okay. Maybe we but, so yeah. Frames. So today's topic. Um, so we, I got a question from Sam at the Hellstorm on Twitter. Uh, uh, he said, "A long time listener, first time." Uh, <laughs> just kidding. First time caller. I just always <laughs> wanted to say that. That's <laughs> our second episode. First time caller. <laughs> yeah. All right. So he was asking, he's like, uh, we're just talking on Twitter. He's like, we branch out to other fields of discussion, like PC builds and specs, et cetera. Just general guidelines when building your first gaming rig, when you're on a budget, uh, where to save money, et cetera. So those were, those were his questions. It was just kind of interesting. Uh, I do yeah. know... Uh, he's been looking to build a PC himself. I don't even know what, what level he's at on doing okay. that, if he's even started. But yeah, what a, what's your thoughts on digging into that question? Building a PC is easier than it's ever been. I've been building PCs like I've never bought a computer. So like every computer I've ever built, I've built myself. Going back to like high school, I built my first computer in like 2002. Uh, That's awesome. I don't know. They're they're real easy today. Like other than like if you need to RMA something and send it back to the manufacturer, I mean, you definitely can end up with like motherboards and memory and processors that are dead on arrival. But that's a lot rarer these days than it is in the past. Um, but for the most part, it's super easy. Like you pick your RAM, you pick your processor, you pick your motherboard, and then you get yourself a graphics card, and then uh, you know you've got it figure out kind of how much power supply you need in the case. Um, I know these days, probably your big biggest limiting factor is uh, power supplies are super expensive right now just because of the pandemic. So, um, Really? I feel like I'll get into it, but I got a power supply for like $25. 
I mean, and it was our- hard to find. It was hard to find because uh, a lot of places didn't have. I had to get like a more upgraded one because I could have got one for twenty bucks, and I think I got one. Well, maybe I'm wrong. Let me see where. Our it? supplies are one of those things you don't want to go cheap on, though. Um, you want to get them from a reputable supplier, uh, EVGA, Corsair, um, Seasonic. Um, yeah, get what it from your- a, get it from a what good. Okay, what are your thoughts on uh, his question? Like, where, if you're building yourself a, a, a rig on a budget, where yeah. do you think you can save money? Um, processors, um, yeah. motherboards, RAM. Those are kind of the big areas. Um, graphics where you, don't, where you don't have to go all out on a. Yeah, you don't have to go. Or... Yeah, you don't have to go crazy. Like, there's so many uh, SKUs for like motherboards, like. And most motherboards, like, I mean, they're, like, such a wide range. Like, you go from, like, you know, you can get a cheap one for, like, 50 bucks all the way kind yeah. of to, like, $500. And for the most part, the, like, $500 ones are not worth the cost unless you're, like, super overclocking. So, like, I don't know, the last motherboard I got, I think I spent 70 bucks on. And, like, I don't know, it's perfect. And, like, um, probably the good way to go for it is, like, Right now, we're um, going through like a generational leap where, like, um, you know, last generation processors, you can get those motherboards for like super cheap. And it's not screaming edge, but it's still good. I mean, we're, we're up against the like limit on processors where, like, um, yeah, the silicon can only go so small. Like, we're, at, we're going down to five millimeters or nanometers or whatever. So, like, we're almost to the basically the limit of what processors can do in terms of uh, power. So it, from this point on, it's just uh, maximizing basically the, the design and then adding cores. So, and oh, like, <clears throat> so like you're only getting so much extra power and it, it also depends on what kind of gaming you're doing. Like if you're only doing 1080p gaming, like the last gen stuff's perfect for that. I mean, if you're going to 4K gaming, like, uh, yeah, you're probably going to want the bleeding edge. But for the most part, it's pretty good. Like, go for those Ryzen 3000 series processors. They're cheap, 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 cheap. Go with like, yeah, they are. They are go affordable. With, go with the six core, um, 3600. I mean, those are awesome. And that's like, it'll do everything you need. It's got more than four cores. I mean, that that's kind of the big thing right now is go for more than four cores if you're getting a new processor, because that's, uh, but what's I mean, thought, even, what's your even thoughts though, on, uh, go ahead, go ahead. Even like the four core stuff is like, if you're going for a cheap build, go with the four core. I mean, most games don't really care about more than a single core processor. So like, there's a reason that Intel hasn't, done anything in a decade in terms of like their process until amd forced them to so they were just like stuck in a rut like a 3700k from a decade ago or i'm sorry a 2700k from a decade ago is just as good as their processes they're releasing up to like two years ago because they're all four cores and like they haven't changed their process in a decade so it's still 14 nanometer um yeah i don't know what, what about is screwed is kind of what's happening right now from amd yeah you were talking about that last time what's yeah. what's your thoughts on a sd ram or DRAM or whatever like what do you mean uh having like 16 gigabyte expansion so two two eight, eight gigabytes or one eight gigabyte or four you know whatever like um you, you want to go probably dual dim so you want to get Two sticks of eight gig is probably all you need for most gaming these days. I mean, I'm only running that right now, and that's like 70 bucks on the cheap end right now, 60, 70 bucks. RAM's super cheap right now. Uh, hard to find, though. It's hard to find right now. Actually. Is it? Yeah, yeah, it is. I was browsing Newegg. At least the one I bought was sold out, and it had plenty when I bought it. So maybe uh, I didn't branch out too much on other options. Yeah, I mean, like just the other day, I was just looking across the internet and like, uh, you know, they had all the sales last week from Amazon, Dave, and like, you know, Newegg, Amazon, 
Well, maybe they're that's why they're out. They were having huge sales on RAM the other day. They're super cheap. You can get like some Corsair eight gig stick, two eight gig sticks for like 60, 70 bucks, which is Jeez. pretty good deal. And that's kind of all you need unless you're doing like crazy production. Like, you know, if you're using CAD products or doing video editing or something like, yeah, you, you want more video audio. editing. Heavy. Yeah. Video editing is heavy. But kind of the big thing is if you're ideally you want to go bigger with your single two sticks and look at your motherboard layout and figure out which ones they go in because um there's definitely like they may not be side to side it might be like one empty one is kind of like your preferred way to do it you definitely want to get two sticks because if you go to four sticks theoretically it can slow down your uh processor oh interesting okay if you didn't know that yeah so uh and, and you, there's some reading into it do about it i i know that's how it is on amd i'm not sure about intel what their system is but i imagine it's kind of the same way so go bigger go as big as you can on dual sticks okay yeah i had to uh i had to recently rebuild my computer so i had a um i had a seven years ago i built a pc with a with a friend and okay. he helped me build it for like recording software and uh okay. so it was pretty good at that time but now as I started to like, I wanted to stream and uh, wanted to use a capture card. Uh, honestly, the computer, like the processor at the time, I don't even remember what it was because I, I took it out and replaced it. But uh, I was having issues. So I called up uh, Corsair or Elgato and I was like, hey, what's going on? And um, so I talked with this guy and I was kind of talking through and he's like, yeah, man, it's 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 just your processor. Like it can't too handle. Old. Yeah, it's too old. And yeah. So then I was watching YouTube. Um, there's this uh, YouTube channel called Alpha Gaming, and he put out an affordable gaming PC. Okay. And so I was, I was kind of looking at that, and that's what I based my build off of. But some parts weren't available. And I also talked with uh, Elgato, and uh, I was telling him the parts. He's like, oh, yeah, all those will do great. He's like, but I do recommend that you, instead of doing the, the Ryzen, uh, I think he had a like a 20 is it 2600 is there is that a 2600 is there six core um from i think yeah, it'd be two gens ago now yeah so in that in yeah. that video he recommended the 2600 however yeah. the elgato guy was like you know just spend the extra 20 30 bucks i think is the difference you get the eight core the, yeah and get we'll get yeah. the ryzen 5 3600 um which is a six core I, I think they had to change that they originally five, three, averaged six. Yeah, the Ryzen 5 3600. Oh, Ryzen 5 3600. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so that was their new generational leap from like last year. So yeah, that's a six core as well. It's just the, uh, I think that's uh, Zen 2 because uh, the 2600 was Zen Plus. Anyways, sorry. Go ahead. No, you're good. You're good. So if I had any advice... I would uh I would kind of follow that build. I spent I already owned here's the thing. I already owned a case and a hard drive and I already had the operating system, monitor, keyboard, mouse. So this is just the guts. Yeah. So, and I, I spent so is this to your build? This is my okay. current build. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I spent six hundred and fifteen dollars. Um okay. I, I got a twenty five dollars on my power supply, which is a thermal take smart six hundred watt. And I had to get that series because uh, on that build, he recommended like an $18 one, but they were out. So I just okay. got the, ne the next level up. I tried to use my old power supply, which actually sucked. So I bought. So uh, go ahead. Yeah. You want to update your power supply like every five years anyways. Like I never reuse a power supply with any builds that I do. I always buy a new one. Oh, Okay. I just figured I rarely used the recording computer. Like I used it. Yeah. You know, I, I, recreationally, this wasn't yeah. like something I was on all the time and like maxing. Sure. Out. But here's the thing that the, the pins, it didn't have the right pins for the new. Motor. And that, that's the other thing is like the pins update pretty often. And like, if, if you can like spend the extra money on your power supply, it's totally worth it. A, a crappy power supply can fry your system. Oh shit! Noted. Okay. And, and like old ones, the power gets uh, dirty over time. Ah, uh, I got gotcha. you. 
the parts wear out and uh, it, it's definitely worth it. Last thing you want to do is like fry your $600, $600 computer because you cheaped out on not updating your power supply. That's a good point. And I got the, uh, like I said, I spent 165 on my uh, processor. So the, that was the AMD Ryzen 5 3600. Okay. And I had an issue with this because I bought it from Amazon and it was a rare issue that two pins were bent. Oh, shit. And I, it didn't look like it, but I installed it correctly. And that's the other thing I'd recommend too. You got to follow your layout, you know, find a YouTube video even and make sure you have your uh, processor rotated the right way, put it in all that shit. Yeah. The Ryzen processors are a little weird. They're, they're sideways on the motherboard. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you, you think you want you want the text, you know, all going the right note. Yeah, you gotta. No, it's it's sideways. Uh, just just so you know, guys. Um, yep. Yeah, fo follow the little line up in the corner, so you know. And, it, um, and if you don't feel comfortable, spend the thirty dollars at Best Buy. Take your computer in, and they'll install it. They'll install it. They won't install the fucking fan because they charge you per part. So it'd be like sixty dollars to do the the processor and the fan. Best Buy or Micro Center will help you out too. Like, not a big deal if you have a Micro yeah. Center where you live. Yeah, yeah. Help you as well. That's what I recommend. If you don't feel comfortable, I think you could do every other part. It, but if you feel weird on the processor, take it to someone, you know? But you and can do every other part yourself, honestly. Yeah. I mean, the other side of it is uh, like the Intels don't have the pens, so they make it a little simpler. Like, it's just a flat bottom processor on the newer ones. So oh, that's cool. So you, you have nothing you can like bend and fuck yourself. So uh, well, I didn't bend it. It was it was uh, it, it came it, bent. Yeah, yeah, it came bent. Yeah. And yeah. um, so I, I built bent. everything. I built everything, and then I went to hit the power, and it wasn't powering. I'm like, what the fuck? You know, <laughs> like all mad. Shit. Yeah. But, yeah. Totally. So they hard. Yeah. But anyways, okay, and continuing, I got the Asus uh, Tough, the B450M Plus Gaming uh, okay. with AMD Ryzen 2. This is my motherboard. So that, that was my motherboard. I spent about 130 on that, and that's just what was recommended on this PC build. Sure. And um, when I was talking with Elgato, um, a gentleman, he's like, I told him I was going to get the uh, GeForce 1660, and he's like, honestly, that'll run most of anything and what you want to run uh he's like you could probably even dual stream and play games on that at a like a lower little quality of gaming sure um and he's in this is his opinion i want to know your thoughts on that he's like because i know you're like get the most badass <laughs> graphics uh card that you can but uh he's like yeah you know uh graphics cards their technology is kind of like for gaming, I don't know. I, I can't explain it. He said, like, you don't have to upgrade your graphics card. If you get this one, maybe in two years you need to upgrade it. So graphics cards are kind of where you want to spend your money depending on what you're running it through. So it depends on your monitor more than anything else. Like if you're running a 1080p monitor, then it doesn't really matter what your your graphics card's less kind of important. So it kind of depends on what your use case is. Um, I got you. That's like what you're saying yeah. earlier. Like if you have a 4K monitor, then... Yeah, if you have a 4K or a 14K or a 1440K monitor, then you're going to need more power. And it also depends on like the refresh rate you're trying to get through your monitor as well. So if you're running like a 60 hertz monitor, you're probably fine with what you got. But if you have like a 14 or... 144 hertz monitor where you're trying to like push the frames per second like super high on your monitor then you're going to need more processing power going through your um your, gotcha you know, through your gpu the the other side of it is you, you want to go for like the fancier crap um you know like uh, all the ray tracing which is super awesome these that's coming through these days um then you're going to need like a a 20 series or 30 series uh AMD processor, or I mean, we'll have to see what AMD comes out with on the 28th in terms of their new graphics processors as well. But yeah, uh, I think I think that was a good little chunk of info that might have got l listened over. Uh, was what you said it was a 
new things are coming out or uh, or being announced at the end of this month, right? Yeah, right. AMD is announcing their big Navi on the 28th. Uh, AMD announced, they're not AMD, NVIDIA announced their processors at the beginning of the month or beginning of September. Um, but, you know, good luck getting one right now. They're yeah, well, I think when these things... Everywhere. When you when these things launch, do you think the uh, older gen that are just as viable uh, as far as like I think PC is a weird thing. You can yeah, it's, it's rare to have a casual gamer on PC because PC gamers are are I'm you know their stuff for sure. Yeah, yeah. If you're a casual gamer, you're playing console. But if you're like I'm a fucking gamer, I'm gonna get like highest resolution, so I'm building a PC. But yeah. I guess you could be. Uh, um, what what would you call it if you're just starting? Like, uh, I don't just know. Yeah, you're, like a novice. Yeah, you're a novice. You're like just yeah, beginning to be a PC guy. Out. Yeah, uh, I think you could get some of this this other stuff, maybe even more affordable. Uh, uh, possibly, yeah. Um, it it kind of depends not, what though. you're looking for. Probably what I would do right now is like, there's lots of people jettisoning their old shit, and you could probably get like a used card for super cheap right now, like a you know. 1080 Ti, which I'm running oh, yeah. for like super cheap, and that's almost as good as like a 2080 Ti. But I wouldn't buy a new 2080 Ti right now. There's still twelve hundred dollars when you can get a 3080 Ti for six fifty or six ninety. So, so oh, there, yeah, yeah, I there's uh, some things going on there. Like I, in general. Um, like an older gen, super awesome card, like used is way better than like a the lower tier um, newer cards. Generally speaking, you know, look at the benchmarks, see what they're showing you. Um, they'll kind of tell you what they're doing, and then yeah. also look at like what kind of resolution you're running. Gotcha. And uh, the last thing I put in was two uh, uh, for my DRAM was two eight gigs. And I, I agree. Um, your motherboard, when you buy it, uh, Sam or whoever's listening, they've got all the diagrams. There's also videos of people building on the same. Make sure you're looking at your motherboard. Uh, yeah. But I think the hardest thing actually was uh, my motherboard diagram on my paper. It didn't come with a diagram for like the case connections. You know what I'm talking about? Like the sure. power button. So I had so to like go through forums and like someone had a, a beautiful one for it so i was like okay yeah um sometimes they do you gotta go through the manual sometimes they'll have like a little quick start guide that you can go through um shit i'm running like a decades old or 15 year old tower right now i need to upgrade eventually but i don't know it still works for what i'm doing so yeah that's what i did i have my eight-year-old case you know and uh put all new guts in it and uh, yeah i think i do need a new hard drive like a secondary Cause I got like eight years ago, I got a, a solid state hard drive and I think it's only like, it's not that big. It's not a big hard drive. Um, yeah. And like that'll theoretically hamstring yourself too. Like you definitely want to go to an M.2 drive these days rather than a like, which goes directly on your motherboard, like I'm kind of underneath your processor or not your processor, but your graphics card. There shouldn't be like an M.2 slot in there and it just like connects right in and they're oh, really different. yeah and so on, uh, i have a blank i have a blank slot on my uh under my graphics card because under that I, I i put a that's one other thing i put onto my pc that i didn't put on this list was i added more usb3 ports um, okay I put, a, I put an expansion card on there and um i, I bought a four four usb3 uh card or what are those called is it are the cards or what yeah, probably bought like a USB card that goes into your PCI slots. Correct. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. 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 That way I can have like uh, my capture card, my yeah. webcam, and my microphone, like all on one thing. All plugged in. Yeah, all plugged in easy, not having like a little bus from the front or whatever, you know? Yeah, when I rebuilt my computer like two years ago, I like ripped out all the old shit and put in new the usb like front mounts and stuff oh smooth. smooth yeah cases are cheap now too you can oh, get yeah. a really nice case for like 50 to 70 bucks so you could 
if you have a hard drive and everything else, you could build a whole new PC for under $700 that I feel is viable, you know? Yeah. I'm a little picky on my cases. Like the newer cases don't have as many like hard drive slots as the older ones. So like, uh, that's why I'm kind of reusing this new one. And then, I mean, yeah. Bust out the hot glue gun and glue some shit in there if you have to. <laughs> Yeah, my the case. Uh, I almost bought a case, but it's it's hard to find one with like a like a CD, uh, like a spot for a CD, CD drive. drive. Yeah, a CD yeah. drive, and I'm like, I like putting the install discs in and then updating versus I don't know. I'm weird. I have a CD drive in mine that is not plugged in anymore. It's just sitting there. Oh, really? I ha I have on top of that like a, a hard drive expansion, like one you could put in in the front, like a hard drive, like whatever. Yeah, like a, a hot swappable. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. I had to unplug that because there's no hard drive in it, but it was just like, like making some fan noise or something. I was like, what the? F so I'd unplug that from the SATA or whatever kind of car. Yeah, I just leave my, I still have my CD driver, DVD driver, what the hell it is. It's still plugged in there, but it's not plugged in. And I only plug it in if I ever need to like use it. But like, there's no reason to have a CD drive anymore. Like Windows comes on a flash drive now. We can make a portable <laughs> flash drive. Like there's really no reason for it. I just keep it around as a just in case kind of thing. Like with Steam and stuff. Like there's just no reason for it unless you're using like legacy crap. And no, honestly, no, you're so right. You're so right. Yeah, there's no use for it really. I mean, honestly, if you need it, like just get a case without one and you can always plug it USB, in. USB, yeah. Well, no, just jank it off the side of your computer while you need to use the CD drive and then, you know, store the CD drive somewhere else when you're not using it. <laughs> yeah, or that. Like, I don't know. There's no reason for it. Like, like I said, I, I just leave mine unplugged all the time because it's a as I need it kind of thing. Like, gotcha. And also, yeah, how, like, booting up every time. I mean, since it does have mechanical parts in it, and, like, every time you start your computer, like, theoretically, it's spinning up. And, like, uh, so not booting it up allows it to theoretically save its life or whatever. Okay. But, I don't know. That's old man shit, I think. Ain't nobody using their CD drives no more. Unless you're, like, burning CDs for your mom. Yeah. Because <laughs> you burn the CD for me, huh? No, just me? Okay. All right. <laughs> just you. I'll uh, oh, shut up about that then. Also, going back to your uh, RAM thing, make sure you, when you're putting your RAM in, touch your case and make sure your case is plugged into the wall or something so that you don't static shock your RAM and kill it. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Ground yourself too, yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Ground yourself. Make sure you're grounded. Touch something that's metal against the wall or something. Yeah, so, that's yeah. true. Good point. Don't go like rubbing your feet on the carpet and touch your ramp, basically. Gotcha. Yeah, good point. Good point. They do recommend that too on the thing. They're like, yeah, do this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's I, all I got. I think I, I think I built my PC really quick. Uh, the biggest drawback I had was uh, the pins on my processor. So I had to return that on Amazon, but I just went to Best Buy and bought one. And I was okay. like, fuck it. You guys put it in. And I spayed third spent $30, had them put it in and everything else I built myself, man. Uh, the wire management was a little tricky because I have a small case. So yeah, a smaller case. And I imagine at the price you bought your USP at, it probably doesn't have like modular cables. Modular cables, like where you can so, break them away or whatever. Yeah. Or... So they have like, you know, if you spend a little more on your, uh, power supply like you can get modular cable ones which allows you to only have cables for what you need and you don't have to have like a whole bunch of extra crap in your case yeah no nice. not at all there's tons yeah. of extra crap i had to stuff in my spare like hard drive slot like because i have like five slots for a hard drive in the front so yeah. i had to, like stuff it all in the spare one yeah so if you want to have a clean case my recommendation is get a modular one so you can you know keep your extra cables or toss them or whatever and not have them in your case i don't know all but, right yeah man really matter that'll be next purchase if you're going like snazzy you want to have all your like uh you know colored lights and crap in your case and a window and shit I don't know, do that i think i might i think i might do that like after the holiday get a new case and maybe a new power supply because i want to use this case and rebuild my old pc so i can okay. run because that's run the thing I, stuff. 
yeah, I want to run my old power uh, Pro Tools, like because it's not supported with Windows 10 now. So I'm just like, oh really? Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's not. So I can uh, I can't run any of that stuff. I mean, my plugins are supported. Yeah, um, but the program itself and a lot of my other plugins for recording music, like uh, some guitar simulators and drum simulators, they're Aren't like old. Supported anymore? Yeah, yeah, they're old and okay. I don't know. I mean, audio is audio, so all I got to be able to do is mix it. Nice. But yeah, I think that kind of wraps up. Thanks for, I know this was kind of nerdy-ish talk. Uh, Might have gone over a few people's heads, but uh, appreciate everyone sticking around and listening. Uh, if, you guys have thoughts, if you guys have thoughts on PC builds or anything, you know, find us at Deer Downloads on Twitter. And uh, I guess actually we have an Instagram, Deer Downloads. And uh, yeah. Instagram or Twitter, write us a message for sure. Um, yeah, I don't know. That seems like a pretty good build for me. Um, things are a little weird right now because uh, we're going through a generational leap. I mean, I'll probably be updating my system pretty soon too right now. Coming up, that's kind of what I'm thinking. Because mine's, I don't know, three years old, four years old, something like that. But I don't know. I like having snazzier stuff. So, But I'll probably go with the 30 series stuff. I want to get one of those, uh, I don't know, 3900s with the 16 cores or 12 cores oh my gosh <laughs> nice like the big thing is like if you're streaming um you want to get more cores versus less okay because it allows it it offloads processes onto those extra cores that, that's kind of the, the big well, thing oh uh, what i found too is I, I watched a few other videos so that's a whole other conversation i feel is how to yeah. optimize your uh, streaming through obs but i'm currently uh, i'm not streaming but i have obs running with a cam and with my everything like i even have my capture card running in the background uh just because i have my playstation updating i'm just not on that whatever and you know i've, I've never gone over five percent cpu really yeah, yeah. And that's because in my settings on my output, this could be a whole other conversation. I use a different encoder. I, I encode. Oh, off okay. my, I, yeah, I put that off onto my graphics card. So that uh, okay. way, you're probably you know, getting a little lower graphics fidelity, but uh, it's not. Pinning. Agreed. Yeah. And I, and I uh, have all my output to be 720 at 30 frames. Oh, okay. Minute. So, and, uh, I, yeah, because I'm not concerned because I, I imagine like when I stream and when I watch streamers, I'm usually mobile. And if if I'm watching it on a TV, 720 is still fine. Like, yeah, you know, and you got to imagine some people's Internet isn't amazing. So, like, if you're streaming yep. at like high quality and if you're not a Twitch partner, you can't um, your viewers can't choose your what uh, stream is. Yeah, exactly. So it's only okay. what you output. So like, I can't like if someone's watching me and they're like, ah, my internet's shitty. I'm gonna do 480 versus 1080. Um, they yeah, can't do that. So I'm like, ah, 720 is a, a sweet spot. And I found one other thing too, is your bit rate. 4,000 is my sweet spot for my bit rate. On okay. My, uh, on my rescale output, because I was yep. dropping frames like crazy, and I had it lower or higher or whatever. And I, I kept messing with it. And then finally, I haven't dropped frames since. Huh, okay. Yeah, when I'm streaming, I don't really have any issues. And I just kind of, I put out a 1080 Ti and I do max settings on all my games, but I'm running a- Yeah, uh, a powerhouse. Yeah, well, I mean, it's not a super powerhouse. Like I'm only running a 1700 or, a, yeah, 1700X AMD, so it's, you know, it's Zen one, but uh, you know, it's an eight core processor. And then I'm running a 20T, 2080 Ti with 16 gigs of RAM and it does everything I need. Uh, Do you but, see your, your CPU usage go up when you stream or when you have OBS running? Not really. Um, the only time I ever see stuff going up is like when I'm doing graphics or not graphics, but you know, production stuff, so. Oh, okay. Yeah. Video, yeah. Video editing, that sort of thing. That's kind of where I see stuff going up on my processor. But it, you know, it's a first gen Ryzen. So getting older. So I'll probably sell it here and update to something new soon. But that's just me. I don't blame you. Yeah. Why not? I don't really need it. I probably need to get a new. I probably need to get a new monitor, is kind of my big next purchase. 
get something with G-Sync and, uh, or uh, FreeSync, one of the two, and then Ooh. go bigger. That, like, honestly, if you can, like, spend some money on a nice monitor. FreeSync and G-Sync are baller, where they, like, uh, they control your output on from the graphics card to your monitor. They make things look really awesome and control, like, uh, screen ripping, things like that. So Interesting. Yeah. Totally worth the money. What size is your monitor right now? It's a 27-inch. Um, I, I really want to get one of those uh, LG OLEDs. I don't know it. I don't know it. Uh, it's actually a TV, like they're 4K TVs that are super spendy. They're like 2K for a 65-inch. I'm kind of... God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm kind, yeah. of eyeing, I'm kind of eyeing that. I mean, most honestly, most of the time I just game on my projector, which is only uh, 1080p. So, oh, yeah. 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 You play through your projector. That's true. Yeah. It, it's yeah. kind of the best way to play, honestly. Like, I have a low uh, refresh rate uh, projector, and it is awesome playing on like a 150 inch screen on the wall. That's awesome. Dude, I, you know what? This was always a dream of uh, me and, uh, uh, and some of my buddies in high school. I think Amphi too. We always wanted, like, uh, we played Halo all the fucking time. Sure. And we always wanted to rent out a Harkins theater. And play on that? Yeah. And play, Man. like, the Xbox. We never did because it was, like, eight or 900 bucks. But, like, that was, <laughs> that's still a dream. Like, that would be so oh, cool. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. That would be so I, I, cool. I love playing on a projector. It's just great. Like, it's the best. Like, it's so much. It, I don't know. I've been doing it for, shit, I think I bought my projector back in 2012. So I've been doing it for, like, a decade. And my, my old projector died, like, last year. Uh, I think I got too much dust in it and fried itself. But that uh, big, I, think, I think I remember that. It was, like, a big white one. Yeah, a big white one. Now I have, now I have a, basically the same model, but uh, just a, kind of a newer one but it's still 1080 ti i can't really see the pixelation projectors are kind of weird where like it doesn't quite matter as much about the 4k versus 1080p because it's yeah. so big and you can't really see the pixels anyways because they're kind of yeah. together um and it's the surface you project on sometimes too yeah so I, I have a huge nice screen that's kind of where you spend your extra money or if you yep. you can also like drywall your wall and like make it super smooth sand it down and then paint it there's huge threads on the internet about it go to like av go to some av forums and they have tons of stuff about projectors but projectors are cheap like the tvs are cheap these days too unless you want yeah. one of those crazy oleds i mean i think i bought my new projector for like 400 bucks so oh dang yeah i think yeah. i got a i got a cheap monitor from walmart <laughs> like Ninety dollars, it's fine. Like I don't yeah. game on it, you know. I, I've got a really nice LG monitor for like my PlayStation hooked up too. Okay. So, and dude, going from that from my forty-seven inch TV in the living room to this littler LG, like which is like a maybe I don't know what size it is, but it was a huge difference. I was like, this is so much clearer. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Projectors are off. I if you're gonna spend some money, get yourself a nice screen. Like that's whether it's a projector or a monitor or a TV, get, get yourself something nice there. Like, you're going to be looking at it all the time, so might as well spend the money there. That's a and good like, point. Like, and if you're, like, honestly going to, like, 1440 or, like, 4K is totally worth it if you can. But uh, if not, like, 1080p gaming's awesome. Like, I don't know. Well, uh, I feel like we covered most of today. Um, I don't know. Do you have any other thoughts? Uh, not really. Cool. Well, uh, thank you everyone for sticking around. Listen to us, uh, rant and, uh, rave, uh, love you long time. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you everybody. Um, yeah. See you next week. See you next week. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.